Okay, welcome to my 14th episode of my Let's Play series. Now, picking up where we left off last time, the farm is operational and is slowly filling the thing up with uh, saplings. And we're starting to get a bit of wood coming in, so need to do something with it. Although I do believe I'm almost out of fertilizer that's been cooked up, so I need some more of that uh, in a little bit. But first of all, what we're going to need to do today is hook up our system for supplying this boiler over here and hook it up over to the tracks over here. So, uh, we're going to do that. I will probably make a trench. Trench coming from over here. And my shovel's gone. Of course. So, back to the ordinary shovel. Anyways, uh, while I'm doing this, as an update, for those of you who haven't been paying attention to my Twitter and, or IRC, uh, Railcraft is currently in private beta stage for 1.5. So, and we've been tracking down bugs and destroying worlds for a couple days now. Hopefully we will cease doing that eventually. But uh, once I'm fairly confident that it's nothing glaringly huge, I will probably be doing a public beta. Uh, mainly because I'm not 100% confident yet that I want I'm ready for the inundation of airs that are probably still existing. Because uh, the sheer size of this update was pretty bad. So, I said trench, but I'm not quite sure what I meant. I guess those will do. Now, the update itself will have a couple new features. Nothing major. Just a couple little fun things that I did just because it sounded cool. Mostly bef they were done added before I started the update. So. I'm sure you all will enjoy those. Now, how we're going to do this... I'm not quite sure how to make it actually look pretty yet. We'll consider that later. Uh, fill in this. So I'm going to be running my steam along this wall, which I'm going to move these. Now, for those of you curious, a buildcraft pipe care has one of these gold pipes has 
about 40 millibuckets per pipe stored in the pipe. I think. Actually, it might be a bit higher than that. It might be per section. So. When you break a pipe, you're not losing anywhere near buckets worth of liquid. Not that it really matters when we're talking about steam, but... Anyways, that's out of the way. So... How we're going to do this... It's going to be a little tricky. Mm, I suppose it's still day, so I can't sleep and get rid of the rain. But... The thing is, we need, we got three stops. We got down there at the furnace, we got over here at the farm, and we got a stop up here. Now, I have done stuff like this in the past, and I used a toggle and a switch track to send it first one way and then the other. It's kind of a... I don't know. It takes a little bit of doing to get that. Or we could... have a second one that runs from here up to there. Well, this is going to be above ground and easily walked on and interrupted, so... Maybe I'll just do a pipe. But somewhere around here I got some track. So we fill our track out. Oh, and this whole thing with where you place the track and it's sideways for a second? That's entirely Mojang. My tracks don't do that. Just the vanilla ones. So, what we're going to do here is put in a hatch. Um, Quite sure what's all entailed with that. I know we need some wood. Actually, I got a crafting table here. But I'm gonna go see if I can sleep. Get rid of this rain. My poor bees. So neglected. No, it's day. Okay. Oh, Sunny's going down. So, we'll look at this. We need... Let's if I remember how... Yes. Make a trapdoor. And... I think the rest of it's over in my chest. There we go. One interesting tidbit that I have noticed is that rain and snow drastically increase the file size on my videos. So, the less recording I do while it's raining and or snowing, the better. Except for it doesn't seem to have stopped. The sun came up, but the rain didn't stop. Right. Okay, so we need one of these. A couple of these, and only one of these. So, I think it's like this. Yes. Farm hatch. So the hatch... We'll go here. Um... I haven't actually tried any of this, so I'm not quite sure how the hatch works. 
but let's see, I need some fancier tracks that I did not make yet. I need a boarding track now. I get a lot of questions, people asking which tracks they want should use with loaders. And the general answer is never use a train version. Ever, ever, ever use a train version of any of the uh, locking tracks. That being boarding, holding, or lockdown. Any one of those works generally. So. Mm -hmm. So we got ourselves some advanced rails here and a bit of temporary power set up. Anyways, I'll let that cook for a moment. And I actually don't think I need anything else over here. Everything else is already over in my... Uh, I don't know how many of this stuff I need. So, we'll go ahead and make all of them. Now, the thick, interesting thing about the rolling machine is the last recipe. You have to click here in order for it to be produced. Otherwise, it will leave the last one there as kind of a recipe marker. I hope I have everything I need. It's here. To make, um, we want boarding tracks here because it's end of the line. And we don't have any locomotives on that particular line. So we're going to need a pressure plate and a wooden rail bed. And I got that. I think I can do that. The boarding track was actually the very first track that I made. I think it was the first. If it not the boarding track, the one-way track was. Anyways, I think it's the first track I made for Railcraft. Uh, the very first versions of Railcraft had the very version 1.0 my first released version had boarding tracks, control tracks, one-way tracks, and item loaders and item unloaders. And that's it. Uh, I d I'm not even sure... Okay, I need... I'm not even sure if I did any of the tweaks or anything at that point in time yet. Anyways, what I need now is a loader and an unloader. That's a loader and unloader. Now, these recipes will change a little um, in 1.5 eventually. They don't currently. I kind of forgot about it, but what I need to do... This is going to be fun. Um, I think we'll do this a little differently. Due to issues with the way uh, loaders power tracks, it's probably best if they aren't both on the same track. But, uh, yeah. So I'll probably be make using hoppers as the base for the item loaders and unloaders. instead of uh, dispensers. So holding track, because this one needs to go both ways. The vast majority of my tracks all use the same ingredients. Wooden rail bread, pressure plate, and a bit of redstone, and that is the hated crafting bench that throws everything on the ground. 
be surprised at how many combinations there is of these three items in the center column. Enough that I forget what all the tracks are all the time. Okay, so we'll put the item unloader here. Uh, there's a pretty good... Well, never mind. Uh, the item loaders don't actually output items in the pipes. I mean, I could. It's not hard. But seeing as it's not exactly a standardized system, the whole buildcraft pipes thing, I'd have to hook in the buildcraft API, and I'm kind of undecided as to whether I actually want to do that. So at the moment, loaders do not unloaders do not output into pipes on their own. I'm trying to remember what I'm building here. So, that means we need a redstone engine. We need some pipes. is also slightly problematic. Actually, what am I thinking? What needs to be unloaded? The only thing this thing needs that I don't already give it is fertilizer. I'm not sure how long a stack of fertilizer lasts, but Doing this without gates would be more difficult. Yeah, so... I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to feed this thing fertilizer. Which is the only... I guess i got to feed it dirt and fertilizer. So I do need some kind of input, but it doesn't have a whole lot of internal storage. So the question is... What do I do about it? I guess we'll just leave it open for the moment and not worry about it. Once I actually get around to doing something with it, then I can use gates to control the whether or not it's outputting Hopefully. I guess maybe we'll just fill it in. I need more stone. Okay, we'll just leave it like that for the moment. We will put the boarding track not there. We want a holding track there. Not that it's going to be doing anything. And a boarding track there. Flip it around. Now... I did have some hopes that this thing would output by itself. into my loader. That seems to not be the case. What did you do, Sangay? What did you do? Okay. So, we'll try a pipe. Stuff put to a pipe. 
Yes, it outputs to a pipe. Sand. Which I don't need. So I'm going to have to need a garbage chest too. So, that means these are in the wrong order. of what's going on. Need to get rid of some of this stuff. Should keep that. Some random stuff. I don't know why I got some of it. Okay, we'll fill this in. Put this here and pipe here. It should... It should be outputting. Hello? I really have no idea what Sanger did to this thing. Those of you who didn't know, the crowbar works like a um, wrench from Buildcraft. Does this work? I wonder. Okay, that works. Awesome is that. Okay, so we just wanted to take everything. Um, I have uses for sand, but I do not know where I'll collect it. Uh, seems the sun's going down again. That should fill the cart. Over here we need to do something with this boiler. I think move it. Good. Feeling this hole. This is not the most beautiful pond. has to go.
This is better. This is my chunk marker. Uh, so, pipe, water pipe, I need more water pipe. Water pipe, down the middle. Which is how I wanted to do it in the first place, but I couldn't figure out how to get it to the right place. Okay. So for the moment, we'll move these and put the boiler right here in the corner. So we got plenty of water, but no fuel. <coughs> Since it'll be running off wood anyways, I may eventually uh, actually put in a steam oven to cook the wood into charcoal because that's a lot more power that way, but for now, we'll just throw a bunch of wood in there. I need some slabs. You may notice by now, but uh, I'm very big on making things look good. And I've often said that I will not build anything unless I can make it look good while I'm building it. Unlike some other uh, people I know who say they'll come back and make it look good and then don't. Of course. Would you be surprised to learn that the, one of the very first things I built was this uh, stone brick factory? I don't think so. If only this stupid rain would go away. Mm. What the hell? There's no way. did. I guess wood's not a very effective uh, fuel source. Um, so what we need to do is put in this with one of these.
And like I said, it doesn't output the pipes. I'm tempted to make it do so though. And I don't have any more wooden pipes. And I don't even know if I have any more. No, I don't. Okay. Time to go back to the house. So I guess I can talk a little bit about what you will see in uh, 1.5. Uh, you've already seen my little teaser pic on my website probably uh, of a bunch of new stairs including the coke oven brick and snow and basically all the same stuff that the walls are made out of. I haven't done the half slabs yet but that's next on my to-do list for random aesthetic upgrades. Uh, we'll take a stack or two of coal with us. I probably have coal coke and digger, but it takes too long to change dimensions. Um, trying to remember why I came here. Right, engine. Engine. Uh, should be somewhere in here somewhere. Yes. We will take all this stuff with us. We'll leave the rest there. So, judging from the amount of rain and snow, this is going to be a fairly large video. Which means you probably won't see this in for two, three days after I've recorded it, so by that time the public beta of Realcraft may already be out. And no, I'm not gonna i I'm not going to do much advertising for how to get the public beta though because I don't really want it to be too widespread just yet. Um, okay. Coal. Put in the coal. We need a minecart, which I didn't think I brought. Just some iron, though. It's another thing I need that I didn't make. Um, if I can remember how to do this, I think it's just yes, redstone for booster trucks. Too much garbage. Actually, I will need some of these. Now, I don't know how many of you actually know about this, but if you take a chest cart and put it back, or any kind of cart that has a block in it and you put it back you see it put the chest down here now watch it again no chest pull it out that works for pretty much all my carts which I forgot that I actually do need the chest cart so um, let's see. We only want this thing to unload wood. And we only want to unload some wood. The 
the biggest problem with loaders is you actually have to put them next to the thing that you're trying to load. We'll do this differently. That allows me... Oops. I broke it. That allows me more control over what gets taken out. So, we want it to stock this place with wood. And this is if I left no, right click, it doubles. If I left click, it halves the value. If I middle click, it makes it go away. Is how these filters work. So, I want it to stock wood. And sure. That'll work. Now down here, I want it to only load wood. I want to stock wood here as well. 127. I'll put the cart in. And watch it load up and send it off. And fail. Because I need to put my boosters in. Now, as you can see, I'm not very picky. OCD, as some people say, about spacing of stuff like this. So, um, give it a nice whack. Get it up. Get up. Get up. So it can unload. We probably need. put another one here. Back already, huh? A little bit of lag. Can I actually move this one? A little bit closer. Uh, just to uh, explain these modes here, if I can do it without getting in the way of the cart, we'll go down here. They have three modes here. We have transfer, stock, and excess. Transfer will attempt to transfer, in this case, if it's on transfer, it will attempt to transfer 127 oak wood. Once it's transferred 127 oak wood, it will send the card off. Or until there's nothing left because it's not on weight. If I turn on weight, it'll hold the card until it's transferred exactly 127. Stock is slightly different because it inspects what's in the card already. And it will transfer oak wood until the cart contains 127. 
slightly different. Now XS is completely different. Basically what it would do is it would transfer everything except 127 oak wood, which would leave 127 oak wood here in the buffer at all times. So that's the basic rundown of how these modes work. Um, I'm not very good at explaining this stuff. But I need to go get some more fertilizer, I think. I keep pushing shift expecting to run faster, but that's the wrong game. Uh, now, actually, I have 13 appetite here. Uh, I've got a bunch more appetite here. Nomicon somewhere. Thanks to extra or not extra um thomic bees. I have concentrated compound, which I can make from appetite and crop sires, which I have a lot of that stuff, so this should be pretty easy. And with concentrated compound is basically the same. It gives you more than you would get quite a bit more. Um, one of these jars holds... yes. And I should have more somewhere. Like carrots. Carrots are good. And potatoes. So, I put that there and boom. It didn't make as much as I expected. Let's look at that again. Basically doubles for very large amounts of plant material. What's going on here? We appear to have an excess of evilness. Well, I never have room. Come on, pick it up. That was the last of my steak. I'm gonna have to find more steak. Anyways, carrots, baked potatoes, and made quite a few bit more. I've had quite a few issues with these golems, unfortunately. So, if you're wondering why one is missing, it's because I think he jumped in the pot or something. Must have more meat around here. Oh, I think I got a ton of stuff over in my furnace. Let's kill some cows. Bit of lag.
Okay, so the lag is causing me issue. Um, so anyways, I think this is probably a good place to wrap up now that we've got our little line going. Our laggy little line. My internet has basically just died. Oh look. I'm not even going to try and mess with that. So, like I said, uh, Railcraft will soon be available, probably. Assuming nothing major crops up, which I find unlikely that th at this point there would be any uh, bugs significant enough to delay the release much. So, within a week you should have your hands on a copy of Railcraft. I was going to talk about what was coming in the future, but I never did. Oh well. You'll just have to see for yourself. Uh, okay. That's kind of fast. Anyway, so, uh, c catch you next time.